923. We've talked a lot about spring finally arriving today. It's also spring break time, depending on the district or the school over the next few weeks. The uh, classes will be out. Some families will flee for guaranteed warmth. Others choose to stay home, though. And Indy Mom's blog happens to have a great post about that. Fun places around town to check out. Our friend Lauren Shigardis is here to talk with us and walk with us it's through some of these ideas. Good morning. How are you? I'm great. How are you? Uh, fantastic. Good. Some of these are old standbys. Some of them are like, oh, I didn't think about that. Let's start with one of the standbys, Children's Museum. Yeah, so they have a new exhibit, um, and it's relatively new in the, in the last month or so, um, Paw Patrol. Mm -hmm. um, my son is obsessed. <laughs> so for anyone else out there looking for something new, a refresh of an old standby, yep. um, the Children's Museum is a great um, resource for you. Um, you can go see all your friends and Marshall and Sky and, uh, you know. You if, do if know the names. Oh, yeah. If you're <laughs> if they're ob as obsessed with, as, with it as my kiddo is, you, they'll definitely love it. And just as a reminder, their Sports Legends exhibit just opened this weekend. Yes. So if the great weather continues, that's always a great place to check out as well. Yeah, there's some new things in the uh, Sports Legends area, too. So, uh, yeah, uh, again, sometimes when we leave the station here going up Illinois, I always know whether it's a free day or something like that because the lines can get a little long. Absolutely. So and plan ahead. Yes, and you can get your tickets at a discount if you book two weeks in advance. So remember that. Uh, New Fields, the art museum, if you still think yeah. of it uh, as that. Uh, tell us about what, what you think it would be good for a family if you want to do yeah. that. Yeah, well, we loved winter lights, and mm -hmm. that's obviously all winter long, but um, now as we get into the warmer months, New Fields is a great um, kind of an extension of a classroom. Mm. It, they, I think they consider it a place to come and learn and explore, but also they have 100 acres, which is their outdoor kind of exhibit um, with some crazy eclectic uh, Art installations, yep. but also it's great for the kids to run around, explore, get their hands on you know these these huge art installations, and really right. have a great day. Uh, and great gr greenery there. Yeah. And when spring springs, that's a a great place it, to be. It's really quite beautiful, and they have lunch on site, so you can kind of spend the day, have a picnic, etc. Uh, we've talked about exuberance today. Nina Criscolo is there at the Indianapolis yeah. Zoo, sort of for a kickoff of this. Uh, this includes a lot of, of fun things, but when you talk about spring, the butterfly kaleidoscope got your attention. Yeah, this is really unique. Um, they have this new exhibit called the Butterfly Kaleidoscope, mm -hmm. and they are releasing some 13,000 butterflies over the course of this exhibit. Um, if you're worried that, oh, they've already released, I won't get to see they release 100 new butterflies each day. There's over 40 different species. I mean, it's kind of great to be able to walk through there with your kids and imagine a butterfly like landing on your nose. Right. So I think that would be a really great way. And it's indoors. So if there's still some cold weather out there, you can go in and check that out. Uh, you could send the kids back to class, sort of, to an academy that I don't think they'll mind at all. No. Top Golf has classes. Yeah, so Top Golf does a spring break academy. It's a three day academy. You do have to be six years old to check it out, um, but you can learn the etiquette, you know, work on your swing, um, and really kind of just learn the, the tricks of the game. Mm -hmm. um, and it, Top Golf is a great place to check out regardless. Um, I have a three year old. I'm actually considering taking him there because yeah. he's so obsessed with the game. Nice. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's a great place to just be outdoors and, and check out. The one thing I would say is that you do not have to be a golfer at all. This is very much like bowling in that, yes, there's a sport involved, and if you want to be fantastic at it, great. Yeah. But you don't have to be. Absolutely, absolutely. And I think that's one of the great things. You can go and you can play for fun and you can challenge your, your competitors or your, your partners, if you will. Um, but it, it's really a great way to just be outside and have fun with your family. All right. Well, time is short. Uh, we're at 927 right now. You've got more ideas in your uh, Indie Moms blog post. This is Lawrence Regardis. Thanks so much for uh, kicking off spring with us here this absolutely. morning. Absolutely. Here just to warmer weather. There you go. <laughs> Drew. Yeah, excellent ideas. Thank you.